in Europe. Betting is a very serious crime, even though these betting companies are also sponsoring teams in Europe. But because there are checks and balances to be able to know, they dare not try to influence results in matches outside the country. And in Europe, if you are even a player or a former player and you are caught betting in a game, you are banned. Recently, an old player like Paul, uh, um, Paul Scholes faced the hatchet for betting on the result of a match. But here we have players who are playing for has of Four, Kotoko, Olympics, uh, and the rest betting on their own matches. How do you expect the players to play in those matches? Because there are people with the betting companies who already know that huge number of people have bet on a, a, a positive result for Kotoko or Haas. So they tell those players and they also bet on the other side. So that when the result came, the players will be richer. So players are no more playing for clubs because they love the clubs, because of the game, but because of their pockets. Right, Mr. Speaker, we must also insist that the clubs also take good care of their players. If a player is receiving 500 cities a month, the player will definitely be interested. 500 cities a month. A player playing for Hearts of Folk Kotoko Olympics and this club receiving 500 cities a month. How do you expect a player to survive? So it is important that our clubs also take a look at themselves. How they will be able to make sure that they take the welfare of the players very important to prevent those players from being influenced by these betting companies so that they could influence outcome of their matches. Thank you.